Well, we are uh, Procter & Gamble, the Prestige Division. Um, the fragrance that we're selling is Gucci by Gucci. We're Group L. I'm Jordan Pippen. This is Natalie Rasho. She's a buyer. And Julia DeLorm is a seller. Uh, basically, the Prestige Division, uh, Procter & Gamble in general, was ranked uh, number 25 in the Fortune 100. Um, this is a sector of Procter & Gamble that represents personal and beauty products, as well as upscale fragrance brands, such as uh, Scotta, Valentino, and Dolce & Gabbana. Our main competitor is Unilever, um, it's a fragrance division. Their comparable brands are uh, Vera Wang, Calvin Klein, and Celine Dion. Uh, our product is Gucci by Gucci. Uh, it comes in two sizes, a one ounce bottle and a 1.7 ounce bottle. And um, they also have a body lotion and a shower gel. Situation, the seller is a Procter & Gamble retail executive from the Prestige Division, selling the new fragrance Gucci by Gucci to the buyer, who is Nordstrom's retail buyer at Topanga Plaza. Um, they have an existing long-term relationship, and the buyer has already been briefed on the product during the pre-approach, and they're expecting to sell it. Hi, Ms. Natalie. I'm Julia Dorn from the Prestige Division of P&G. Hi, nice to meet you. You can call me Natalie. Nice to meet you. Uh, don't mind my large print ad. <laughs> So how are you doing today? I'm good. I've actually been really busy because Nordstrom semi-annual sale is coming up soon. I know. So I, I look forward to every year. I buy the best sales items. I'm a pretty good sales shopper. Yeah, and we do offer really good deals. Yeah. So, um, what I have for you today is a, a Gucci by Gucci product. But before I um, present the product to you, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Okay. Go for it. Um, in general, how do you feel the fragrance department contributes to the overall success of Nordstrom? Um, it's very important to the overall success of Nordstrom because it's part of the um, beauty department and we like to offer our customers a one-stop shop for all of their beauty necessities and fragrance being one of them. So we like to offer a full line of all beauty products. Yeah, definitely. I can understand that. Um, what about in terms of advertising in the past? What are some of the most important attributes um, that contribute to the success or failure of the product? Um, well, for products that have been successful, they usually had an extensive advertising campaign as well as um, sales training because that really helps um, consumer awareness and it helps people coming into the store. Um, so advertising is pretty important. Have you had any failures in the past? Um, yes, I have actually. And was that due just to advertising or sales training? It was a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there wasn't enough advertising and our, the salespeople lack product knowledge. Okay. Um, do you provide in-house sales training? Uh, yes, we do actually. We um, train our employees on basic selling skills, but we don't train them on specific product features. So when we get new products, we don't necessarily teach them on the new products. We just um, in general, in general, like the sales training and like how to effectively sell. So that you do teach them sales training. Yes, as well. we teach. Okay. Sales training. Um, well, what if I told you that P and G um, always offers a very extensive advertising campaign to back all of its products, as well as training all of your in-store representatives. Wow. We offer all the product features, and we can mm -hmm. teach them everything, how to sell it, and everything that they should touch on with the customer. Wow. Would you, but would that be something you'd be interested in hearing about? Definitely. Okay. Well, um, as I was saying, there are the product that I would like to present to you today is Gucci by Gucci. Um, mm -hmm. um, let me bring it up to you right now. Okay. Let me actually set this up to you for a little bit later. All right. And the black hole is the purse. Here we go. So this is the actual um, Gucci by Gucci product. And I actually have... Oh, I like this bottle. I know. Isn't it nice? Okay, uh -huh. so here's the Gucci by Gucci bottle. Okay. Um, as you can see, the contrast between the brown and the, the gold touches um, kind of represents the classic Gucci emblem of the, the saddle horse frame right there. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and spread the little it's a nice composition of a composition of guava, pear, um, honey, flower musk. Wow, very a little bit of musky, musky scent. It's rich. I like nice. it. Mm -hmm. it's really like it. And then in terms of the packaging, um, it'll be packaged like this. 
Um, we're actually considering a different packaging design that's going to be like representing is that just a sample package? Yeah, this is just a sample package. Uh -huh. So it'll be dark brown with the gold um, logo as well as the Gucci. So that will help stand out on the shelf. Okay, so it'll look kind of like the model. Mm -hmm. exactly. exactly. Um, All right. Um, well, so is this the only size that it comes in? Um, that's one of the sizes. This is a 1.7 ounce. Okay. Um, and then it also comes in at a 1 ounce bottle. A little bit smaller. Alright, um, now what is the, what's the retail price? The retail okay. price for this one is $8. Um, okay. I have a cost breakdown for you. And the smaller bottle is 58 Okay. The reason we did that is we wanted to create some variation in the price so that we could capture a larger market segment, mm -hmm. or target market rather. Um, so, you know, for the more price-sensitive consumer, they can buy a smaller bottle and they'll get the dollar one. They'll get the prestigious Gucci brand, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, in addition to that, we also have um, a further product extension that includes a 6.7-ounce shower gel mm -hmm. and a 6.7-ounce body lotion. Um, that's typically more used, I'll get, that, get into that later, but um, mainly used for promotion in-store kind of things that I'll touch on a little bit later. But, okay. Um, and now what... So you would want to display this on the <coughs> front, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. What What are the displays and like shelving space that you're thinking about? Well, considering Gucci's past um, success as a strong, prestigious brand, uh -huh. they have had consistent um, high sales for the mm -hmm. past thirty something years. Um, I would suggest probably half a, half of a full shelf uh -huh. to allocate for both of the sizes. Okay. And then probably two indoor displays. And then I actually have two pictures to show you. Uh, and for displays. Yeah. All right. So basically, it's going to include, um, they're all very colorful. Uh -huh. It's going to include um, the stand with a sample Gucci bottle mm -hmm. for people to spritz on themselves to sample okay. it. Um, a pretty extravagant flower, flower, arrangement. Yeah, flower arrangement. And then a stack of the package um, bottles, as uh -huh. well as the ad in the background with the, with the model. Wow. And then in addition to that, we're going to have a trained um, in-store fragrance model that's going to be interacting with the customers, um, encouraging trial, and mm -hmm. getting them to just like increase awareness of what not the product. Cool. Mm -hmm. that sounds good. And then, um, do you have any other questions about the product itself? Or? No, we don't have any um, questions about the product. But, so now you're saying that you want half of a shelf space, right? Yeah, yeah. half of a shelf space. Um, I'm kind of concerned about that because we already have fragrances that sell really well on that shelf space. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of concerned about putting in a new, putting in this product because then we have to take the other ones off the shelf that I already know will sell well. And because this is a new product, I'm not sure how customers are going to respond. Respond. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I totally understand your concern. Um, Bloomingdale's actually felt the same way about uh -huh. Gucci NV last year, uh -huh. but the sales um, exceeded. They were huge. They were on top. They were, um, I think, actually I have the figures right here. Um, they were around 10,000 for during the first pre-launch, so they did very, very well. Wow. But um, let me show you what we have here. We have a sales forecast breakdown for the Gucci by Gucci um, Fragrance. Okay. Basically, we projected, um, we, we based our forecast of sales mm -hmm. by taking the Gucci Envy sales last year mm -hmm. and then increasing that by 7% uh -huh. because we also plan to increase our advertising budget by 10%. So, okay. So you're pretty conservative. It's a conservative figure. Well, mm -hmm. um, okay, so you're, in, in, you're increasing your advertising oh. campaign by 10%. Mm -hmm. a pretty big amount. Um, how are you changing your advertising campaign? Like, what mediums are you using? Um, well, we're actually going to try and do an integrated marketing um, communication, just a complete advertising campaign that comes uh -huh. on all the different channels. We want to include print, online um, advertising, TV, um, and billboards, in-store promotions, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But here's an example of one of the print ads that okay. we want to put in um, some um, high-class magazines, Vogue, what uh -huh. have you. Uh, it's going to be a two-page a two-page spread with the model, mm -hmm. and then a fragrance sample right here on the on the end of the strip. Okay. So, and then also this uh, big guy uh -huh. is um, going to be in some other different catalogs, um, as well as this is probably going to be our primary like billboard. Okay. Are you going to put that around the store, like in North? Yeah, North absolutely. Or maybe. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 And everywhere we can get a chance to increase awareness, we're going to be especially right before pre-launch, uh -huh. and then in the peak of sales. So. All right, and then um, let me actually show you the commercial that we put together. It's pretty entertaining. There it works. Slow computer. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong 
I'm like, Val, I'm hang on, just one second. <laughs> <laughs> so while we're trying to figure out this computer nonsense, uh, <laughs> tell me what's been going on with you. Um, not much, you know. Just when did the sale start? I'm actually really looking forward to it. It starts, uh... <laughs> pre-launch week, we're going to do, or not pre-launch, but the launch week, uh -huh. right after it launches, which will be May 15th, okay. um, we're going to offer a full body lotion and full shower gel, the 6.7 ounce uh -huh. I'm telling you about, uh -huh. for all sales. Everyone that buys a bottle, uh, the 1.7 ounce, not the 1 ounce, but the 1.7 yeah. ounce will receive that as a gift with purchase kind of deal. Wow. That's cool. So that's just another um, incentive to increase sales. Mm -hmm. Um, now, tell me about the sales training that you mentioned earlier. Can oh, talk more about that? definitely. Um, the sales training is going to be very comprehensive. We're going to try and we're going to create these workshops mm -hmm. that will be at different times in order to um, convenient um, different work schedules with mm -hmm. all of your employees. And we'll basically um, touch on all the main features and benefits of the product mm -hmm. and then how to communicate those features successfully to the customers. So, okay. Sounds good. So. Um, with all the sales training, I have a concern actually, because I feel like the employees will maybe um, put more effort into selling Gucci by Gucci since you guys have so much sales training, which is good, but at the same time, I feel like that it might um, cannibalize the sales of our other fragrances. Yeah, I can understand that concern. Um, however, you have to consider it like this. The fact that we're doing such an extensive advertising campaign and that we're going to be reaching such a large demographic and uh -huh. high reach, whatever, what have you, um, we'll be increasing your, your foot traffic in your store in general just okay. during this advertising period. So you'll probably experience increased sales in all parts of your store, not just in your fragrance department, but if they buy a fragrance, they will go to the shoe department. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I, I mean, I could see how you might have a concern with that. Let me actually show you the cost breakdown for that. Um, well, um, yeah, I was actually just going to ask how much this um, it would actually cost to purchase this. Yeah, well, how many, well, okay. What we're going to do is how, would you just, are you just interested in buying fragrance bottles and not the, per the body lotion and shower gel? Um, well, what percentage off of, retail you mark down usually? Mm. Typically, we price our products in order to allow for a 40% markup. The 40% markup? Mm -hmm. So it'll be 40% below retail value? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, your competitor, um, Unilever, usually charges us less than that. They give us a better deal. They're, why are their prices cheaper? Is there any way you can give me a better deal? Well, that's actually exactly why you should buy from us. Because really? Unilever um, is our main competitor. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are. But if you look at the brand equity and the and the sales uh -huh. history for the past ten years, we consistently exceed, we overexcel them. We our sales, even though our prices are eight percent higher than theirs, mm -hmm. our sales um, for the past five years have been fifteen percent higher than their average comparable brand. Okay, so that's what that justifies the yeah. I mean, it should have higher have a higher yeah. You're gonna have a higher return on your investment. Okay. Not to mention the brand equity that comes with the Gucci brand. Okay. So um, if I decide to buy this, will you give any sort of discount for buying large quantities? Well, um, that depends on how many units you're willing to buy. Um, typically, we only offer discounts with 250 units or more. I was actually thinking about purchasing 150 units. Do you mind if I ask why? 
um, because it's a new product and I'm not sure how well it's going to sell, so I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of extra merchandise if I buy 250 units, I feel like it's a little too much, I'd rather um, buy a more conservative amount. Yeah, I can understand that. Inventory cost is something that we at that P&G understand. Uh -huh. We try to minimize our inventory cost as well. Mm -hmm. So that's actually another reason why you should buy from us. Okay. We, um, we place our, we'll ship your two different cases of perfume in two different shipment. Like this well, I showed you right here. Okay. Um, your first order would come during pre-launch or right mm -hmm. before pre-launch mm -hmm. and then your second order will come during um, mid-season. Well, how much discount am I going to get though if I buy a larger quantity? Okay, if you buy the larger quantity, you'll be saving over $500 uh -huh. because compared to instead of paying $48 for the 1.7 What is the discount? The how discount is 3%. 3%. Okay. 3%. So instead of paying 48 for the 1.7 ounce, you'll be paying 45.6. Okay. Or 34.8, and then versus 33.6. Okay. And then but what's my total savings again? Your total savings is going to be over $500. 517.50 okay. to be exact. Yeah. And my other concern was inventory. Like, so you're saying that you ship it in two different times? Two different periods. Okay. Yeah. When, when do you ship them? Um, the first shipment will be July 10th. Okay. Because the release date is July 15th. Okay. And then the second um, shipment would be around like October 8th. Uh-huh. And how, how many units in each shipment? Um, it's going to be 150 in the first case, mm -hmm. or the first order, that mm -hmm. is, and then 100 in the second. That's just to help you meet your supply okay. of demand. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So then, um, in addition to that, I actually want to touch on one more thing that I didn't mention about um, Unilever. Um, in addition to this in addition to buying this, or not in Unilever, but in addition to buying this 250 uh -huh. instead of what you want to buy, 150, mm -hmm. not only will you be saving this amount, mm -hmm. but I can almost guarantee that those perfume bottles will fly off the shelf. Okay, well, if the product doesn't sell, can we get a refund? Um, no, we don't offer a refund, but we can offer you some kind of compensation. Um, maybe not a financial compensation, but maybe we can offer you um, extra units, we can provide more training, try and um, reconciliate the problem that was created by not selling the product. I can't, I can't even understand why yeah. they wouldn't sell. Okay, and also um, the, the fragrance um, shirt sold over the internet, so if it's available over the internet, why should people buy it from here, from Nordstrom? Well, that's the whole, well, you should answer that question, too, because you're, you yeah. represent Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. Nordstrom is, shopping in Nordstrom is a shopping experience. Okay. And being in the environment with the, with the models, with the ads, mm -hmm. with the box, with the whole fragrance department, it's an atmosphere. And buying it in store is just part of that experience. Yeah, and really bringing nice, the classics of the store. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Well, everything um, sounds very appealing. Do you have any other concerns? No, I think you covered everything. Pretty much. When does training start again? Training starts um, May 15th, okay. which is going to be eight weeks before the fragrance launch. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Okay. So then, 250 units, or do you want to do your 150? I'll go with the 250. I'd like to save about $500. Definitely. Good choice. Okay. All right, well, if you just sign right here. Yes. Yeah. And then I'll make sure to have those shipped on July 10th. All right. Um, just as I think, you should have seven cases. Make okay. sure you have that amount okay. of the 1.7 ounce and the 1 ounce. All right. Um, and then we do require a signature from a representative in the department, in okay. the actual department itself. Okay. Um, and then let me give you my information just to mm -hmm. follow up. And I will also send you um, a spreadsheet of all the details that will happen between pre-launch and uh, post and mid-season. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice to see this video. Okay.